Welcome to Attleboro Update. For 29 years, the Christmases for Kids Toy Drive has always provided for those children in need. With over 900 children to provide for, it can sometimes seem like a monumental task to overcome. Earlier this week, it was announced that gift giving was down 25% this year, and it looked like not all children would be provided for. After some last minute appeals and the generosity of many, all children in the program will have a gift to open on Christmas Day. We met up with Kelly Fox and Mark Gilmore earlier this week to assess the program's progress. Hi, my name is Kelly Fox and I'm one of the co-chairs for the Christmases for Kids gift drive for 2012. Christmases for Kids is in its 29th year of a gift drive. We take care of children in five towns, Attleboro, North Attleboro, Seekonk, Rehoboth and Norton. And essentially what happens is that parents or social workers will come to us with information about each child. So what you can see behind me and in front of me are bags specifically made for that child. So if it's a little girl who wears a size 4T and wants a baby doll, that is what we hope is going to be in that bag. Or if it's a teenage boy who wants a video game or a basketball or a football or a skateboard, we're hoping that that's what's going to be in that bag as well. So we've been doing this again for, this is the 29th year, and so far we have not had a little person go without gifts on Christmas, and we really are hoping that we'll be able to keep up that streak this year as well. This is really kind of some startling numbers, so the number of children that are in foster care through our program that are through um, the homeless shelter, through the group homes, are actually for the first time in recent memory are actually greater numbers than the children who come to us through their parents. And I think that that really talks about the level of poverty and, um, and the need and the children in crisis in the area that we're gonna help. So this program truly does make a difference in the lives of the children and their families. We're into the last week of the gift drive for 2012. Over 950 children have been matched up to our list so far and we still have 300 of those children who are waiting for the donors to come in but unfortunately still over 100 children where no donors have been matched up at all. So we're really hoping that the phones will ring and people will come in and and help us get to the end and make sure that all of these 900 and almost 70 children have a very Merry Christmas. The last day for donors to do drop-off for gifts is Wednesday, December 12th. But the elves will be here working long past December 12th, making sure that all of the gifts that have been dropped off are matched up to the children. Hi, my name is Mark Gilmore. I'm the president of the Greater Attleboro Area Council for Children. The council office is at 4 Hodges Street in Attleboro, Mass. But today we're coming from the old Attleboro High School, former Brennan Middle School, uh, at 135 County Street, and we uh, have taken over the whole first floor with different rooms for different functions. What you see around you on the walls is in the background all from donors, some hand, -mit, hand knit clothes, hats, mittens, gloves, scarves, toys that have been donated from, from uh, many organizations as well as just individuals who bring them in uh, for, for us to put to good use. This will all be culminated into one final day which only a few of us are here to distribute to the families to keep it very you know, personable and private. Uh, as you can imagine that's the reason why we do this. But uh, each bag is for a specific child. So there could be 10 bags for 10 kids in one family. It, that's how so much it can represent so and they'll all be filled uh, all be filled and ready to go by the by next week some of these bags will be um, brought to distributions uh, distributed rather to um, the social services agencies that we help in the area um, we set up times for them to come here or we drop them off to to their locations uh, in a in a discreet way well volunteers are terrific <laughs> believe me we've had a good steady uh, group of uh, individuals who've, who've dedicated themselves this year to, to making sure that this is a total success. And without them, we couldn't have done this. There's over, a, I'm going to say, close to 150 volunteers that have helped us during the last two and a half, three weeks. We get a lot of volunteer help from organizations as well as businesses. And those, those corporations and uh, other nonprofit groups have had an instrumental part in making this uh, go every year. And without them, we surely would never have, never have a chance to, to complete the goal of, of all the kids that we've taken on this year.
This has been a great year. It's my first year as president, and uh, I can't I can't say enough about all our volunteers. They they've been here every day in this heated building, not air conditioned. Uh, it's been it's been wonderful. The the attitudes and 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 pulling together of everybody's resources in order to get this done has been terrific. One of the things we want to be sure that we do uh, is especially to say thank you to the donors. And the donors are individuals. They could be little ones who have decided to give up their birthday presents to another child, as well as families who do Christmas parties and, and decide that all of the proceeds are going to come to Christmases for Kids. But also companies and organizations, local churches, um, Sensada, the Lions Club. There's so many organizations that all come together to make this happen. And, and a, a thank you never feels like it's really quite enough, but, um, but it is absolutely heartfelt. Merry Christmas!